Greetings everyone. Welcome to Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. This is Aisha, your Tuesday vlogger. And we have a two choice question today. Emotional ups and downs, do you have them? How do you deal with them? If not, what do you struggle with and how do you deal? And I, I guess they kind of go together, um, emotional ups and downs, do you have them and how do you deal with them? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dive into that first, uh, that first part of the question. Um, and for those who are new to the channel and don't know my story, I also have a YouTube channel by the name of Grellin Be Gone. Um, I go by Shea Leonard on Facebook. And I started the journey November 2010 at 355 pounds. I reached my goal weight um, losing 181 pounds by November 2011. And I have been in maintenance uh, as of today, Tuesday, eight weeks. And maintenance has caused uh, me to be free from the striving to lose weight to, um, like I said in last week, go on to do other things. And also, lots of self-discovery. This past seven days, this past week, has been a tremendous journey in self-discovery. Um, I wouldn't trade these last seven days for anything in the world. And one of the things that sort of was uncovered as I walked through the door of maintenance um, it was behaviors that I began to see in terms of what I have come to know and be able to identify as soothing myself with food, okay? So tying it back to the question, um, do you have emotional ups and downs and how do you deal with them? And so I discovered that um, the nibbling, the sort of hand to mouth as I call it, um, munchy 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 is me soothing myself with food but i didn't know that until um becca losing it with rebecca actually sent me a picture of three books she was reading and one jumped out of the picture at me and i actually have it here in my nook but 50 ways to soothe yourself without food and it's by a lady named susan albers and you can google it if you're interested in it and so i've been reading through this book and sort of identifying that behavior and then also um, changing my behavior every day that I um, that I um, am awake <laughs> every day just been really working on that because that soothing myself with food goes way back to when I was I'm going to say nine years old, that was when I can best identify it was the year my parents were divorcing and food became my friend. And at some point in the journey on my own channel, I have a, a video and I talk about being addicted to food. And so maybe there's some addictive behavior there, um, but I want to lean more towards food being a soother to me. And so when there are emotional ups and downs, I reach for... Um, something. Um, one of the 50 things or one of the things that people do, um, they always buy things just in case. And I've been a huge just in case buyer. And so I've been really working on that behavior. I had gone um, grocery shopping and some of the things I would normally get just in case I didn't get. And it has been um, an eye opener to really look at that behavior and um, be able to call it on the carpet basically and really begin to chip away at that behavior so that you know years down the road I can I can be free from um, the impact of it and so you know excitement would cause some extra eating um, totally uh, stress or if something was coming up and, and um, I didn't know what to expect, that would cause me to want to just sort of this nibble, this got to have something. Um, and so now I'm beginning to ask myself, what is it that I need? Because my tendency would be I need something, whether it be a protein bar or 
a afahi, get an extra yogurt, I, you know, whatever it was, but it, it isn't what I really need. It's something more internal or something from another person. And I remember um, seeing a saying one time on Sally, Cabernet Queens, uh, I think it was her Facebook page, this was a while ago, and it was, what I need is not in the kitchen. And that sort of carried me through, but I really wasn't able to identify that soothing yourself with food until um, I was able to see it in print and get a little bit more understanding. And so how I had been dealing with emotional ups and downs, uh, I come to learn was soothing myself with food. And now it is doing self-talk and trying to understand what is it that I need in that moment. Um, and I've seen weight loss happen just this week, um, like five pounds in a couple days, just because I wasn't choosing to soothe myself with food. Um, I am in maintenance and I am in my um, lifetime maintenance range and actually trying to go down a little bit smaller. And so in the middle of all that, um, I got to see some instant weight loss. And so if anybody out there is saying, hmm, this sounds like me, uh, maybe you could check out the book or even just start thinking about are you soothing yourself with food and begin to look at your behaviors. Are you one of those just-in-case buyers where you pick up things and make sure they're in your purse or make sure they're in your cupboard or make sure they're in your freezer um, just in case you need it? <laughs> I love that because it was so me and I didn't even know what I was doing. But um, certainly that is the answer to my question and um, that's how I had been dealing with it and I've learned and I'm learning and choosing every single day to walk free and um, anyway I hope it has been a help to you uh, actually making a short video this week so uh, again the book is 50 ways to soothe yourself without food um, I've been reading through it I haven't finished it um, I have a an approach to many things I read and it is eat the meat and throw away the bones if there are things in the book that you know don't interest you um, you know it, it is what it is so I um, have been taking from it what has been helpful to me there's a quote here and it talks about take small steps we cannot do everything at once but we can do something at once and that's by Calvin Coolidge and that is where I am, you know, in my emotional up and down, um, I'm choosing to um, do something at once. I can't do it all at once, but I'm choosing to do something at once. And I am winning, and I am so thankful. So anyways, you guys have a great rest of the week. And this has been Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works with Aisha. Thank you. Bye-bye.